So tell me about yourself. Uh, what do you do and why do you do it? Well, my name is Jeremy Novi. I'm a street artist. Um, I went to art school at Peck School of the Arts and here in Milwaukee. I'm the stencil artist, most known for my koi fish. Um, you can find them across the country and a lot of major cities. Where do you think your creative power comes from? Um, so I don't have a family. I moved away from my family when I was 16. They're like really kind of bad. I don't talk to any of them. Um, and I've just really like kind of created my own um, existence and I'm a self-made person, um, which is like really, really cool. Um, but in the process, like I'm not gonna have kids and I don't have family members that are gonna talk to about me when I'm dead. So I need to like do something um, for society, not just, you know, for this reason, but for the greater good of society on top of being, being recognized when I'm dead so that people um, know that I existed. How do you define your human expression? Um, I define myself as a stencil street artist, um, a bit of an activist. Some people call me a queer historian for some of my more um, queer themed street art, which is uh, has to do um, with, with issues uh, that are important. So what do you think about street art today? I started out as a street artist and a stencil artist because there was no right or wrong way to do a stencil at the time that I was doing it. Now there's like a little bit of a rules of what you can do and street art was extremely experimental. There was like, you know, 1998 was the very first exhibit in New York City called Beautiful Losers where they brought all these street artists together and they had a show. And so like when I started doing like, you know, street art stenciling stickers and whatnot in like 2001, like it was, it was like still very new and there's like no one telling you how to make a stencil necessarily and like everybody was making their own stencils. and. If you look at like the very first stencil artists, they all have their own style, which is so beautiful and like and like a really really cool thing that all of these people like came up with their own way, kind of using ideas from printmaking and whatnot. Like street art's a new art form, and it was like it's like a new thing. It's a thing that has all this opportunity for experimentation and things, but muralism doesn't. And so I am I am I am torn by this, and and I'm a lot of times like looked at like oh you're not a good mural artist. Well fuck yeah, I'm not a mural artist. I'm a street artist. I'm a stencil artist there's a completely different genre of what I do and and we just kind of get like lumped together and, and so so by me doing like you know queer images on the street that stuff isn't gonna be approved by some city coding and whatnot but yeah we totally need like queer images on the street especially in gay neighborhoods like Boys Town in Chicago or places like that so queer visibility is a very important thing and like putting queer street out, out there or just queer images is a really important thing but they're never gonna be approved based off from these ideas of muralism but they're only gonna exist off from these ideas of street art and like that 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 is like the activist kind of um thing that is lost now in muralism city or country city or country yeah. um i'm all for city um country is too big and sometimes like a city or like a small demographic or whatever area has like definitely different politics than like the whole entire country and for like the whole entire country to like pass certain politics to like a, just a little independent city is like kind of bogus in ways and i really think that city um is better than country where's one go-to spot in the city you know a place like uh you belong the butterfly at the Milwaukee Public Museum. <laughs> like it's like, that was like that, oh, that and um, the pinball at the um, arcade, the Oriental, underneath the Oriental at the arcade there, playing pinball is something I did all through art, art school. I was a bartender, so I was able to save all of my quarters and I gave them to friends. I would have pinball parties. Um, it was pretty cool. And then the butterfly at the Milwaukee Public Museum, cause come winter, there's like a blizzard going on outside. There's like snow plows coming by and uh, you can go and be super warm and see butterflies land on you and listen to tropical things while well, you know there's a blizzard outside. My name is Jeremy Novi and I make Milwaukee Red.